Hello friends, welcome to today's Artificial Intelligence class. And in this class, we are going to see the problem formulation that will come under uh, the first unit, problem solving. So in this class, we are going to see the problem solving definition. Under this, we are going to see the goal-based agent and problem solving agent, goal formulation and problem formulation. And the formulating problem here, we are having four different components. That is four important components are there for formulating a problem. The first one is initial state, successor function, goal test and path cast. These four are the components of formulating the problem. Okay, so, so these are the things we are going to see in today's class. First, let us see the definition of uh, problem solving. Problem solving is the process of generating solutions from observed data. So this is called as problem solving. What is problem solving? It is a process of generating solutions from observed data. Here, the problem is characterized by a set of goals, a set of objects and set of operations. That is, the operations will be performed on these objects to reach the goals. It is called as problem solving. Okay, And the method of solving problem through artificial intelligence involves the process of first defining the search space where we are going to solve the problem. Okay, Defining the search space and second one deciding start and goal state. So there should be one start state and there should be one goal state. Right. So this is start or initial state. Start our initial state and this is the goal state. Okay. And third one is finding the path from start state to goal state through the search space. Okay. We need to find the path between start to goal. So this is called as the problem solving. Okay. So in this problem solving, we are having three process. First one defining the search space and second one is deciding which is start state and which is goal state and third one is finding the path from start state to goal state through this search space okay and here search space or problem space search space is nothing but problem space is abstract space which has a valid states which has valid states that can be generated by the application of any combination of operators or objects. So by using this we can create the valid state. Okay, Here the search space is otherwise called as problem space that is nothing but agent world which is otherwise called as our environment. That is agent environment. Okay. And the problem space can have one or more solutions. So sometimes a problem may have more than one solution, but we need to find the optimal solution. Okay. And solution is the combination of objects and operations that achieve the goal. Okay. Solution is nothing but the combination of objects and the corresponding operations. Okay, those are helpful to achieve this goal is called a solution and search refers a search of solution in the problem space. What is mean by search? Search is nothing but to find the solution from the problem space from starting state to goal state. And here uh, this is the goal based agent which is otherwise called as planning agent. Okay. And problem solving begins with the definition of problems and their solutions. So for solving any problem, we should have the definition of problem. The definition of problem should be clear. Okay. If the problem is correct, then definitely we will have the solution for that. And we can describe several general purpose search algorithms that can be used to, to solve these problems. Okay. So by using these goal-based agent or a problem solving agent and we will see several uninformed search algorithms in this unit 
okay several uninformed searching algorithms uninformed searching means the algorithm that have no information that is no additional information about the problem other than its definition we can get the information only from the problem definitions apart from that we don't have any other information and those problems are called as uninformed search algorithms okay example for this uninformed search algorithm are uh, breadth first search depth first search uniform cost search and uh, depth limited search etc so these are all example for uh, uninformed search algorithm so after that we are going to see the informed search algorithms and here there are some guidance on where look for solutions so by using some guidance we can easily find the solutions so these are called as informed search algorithms okay the example for this informed search algorithms are greedy best first search algorithm and a star star a star algorithm evo star algorithm and etc so these are all example for this informed search algorithms informed search algorithm means apart from problem definition we are having some other information to reach the solution okay so that is called as informed search algorithms and next we will see some more detail about this problem solving agent right it is used to find the sequence of actions that achieve goals what is the purpose of problem solving agent the problem solving agent is used to find the sequence of actions what are the actions will be there to reach the goal okay that is used to decide by this problem solving agent let us see one example for this so here we are having one graph okay this graph represent the cities so a is the start start city starting state we are currently in a and we are having some other cities also okay b c d e r cities and this is our goal we are going to reach this e okay how do we reach this e that is our problem okay here the node represent city node which are the nodes a b c d e r represent city and the cost this is important the cost to travel from a city to another city denoted by numbers denoted by numbers over the edge okay so the edge is having the cost okay the cost for traveling from a to b for example okay the cost is 20 this may be 20 kilometer right and in order for an agent so to solve a problem it should pass by two phases of formulation okay let us see what are those two phases of formulation the first one is goal formulation and second one is problem formulation okay goal formulation that means the problem solving is about having a goal having a goal we want to reach initially we are in starting state and this is our goal state so we need to reach this goal state okay i want to travel from a to e how do i travel which path i am going to choose okay and goal is a set of environment states in which goal is satisfied okay so goal is having some constraints we need to satisfy that constraints in all the states and which states is satisfied that is called as goal right and next one is problem formulation problem formulation is about deciding what actions and states to consider okay so which action is to apply to reach the next state okay so describe the state in in city name okay currently we are in this particular city name for example um in a currently i am in a okay where 
city name is name of the city in which we are currently in currently we are in city a so from this a we need to go to b c d or e current current finally we need to reach e and the process of finding such sequence is called as search okay in what sequence we are doing all the actions that is called as search and search algorithm is a black box we don't know anything inside the box and it takes problem as input and returns a solution okay so input this is the search we don't know anything in this and it will give output input is problem output is solution right once the solution is found the sequence of action carried out and it is called as execution phase okay so this is execution phase the next one is formulating problems the problem can be formally four components four components are very important for formulating any problem the first component is initial state second one is successor function third one is goal test and the last one is path cast all the four components are very important for formulating any problem first one is the initial state okay so here uh, the initial state is to specify one or more states that describe the possible situation from which the problem solving process starts that is the starting point of the problem solving is called as initial state in our problem the initial state is a okay initial state right and next one is successor function successor function is description of possible actions available to the agent okay what are the possible act actions available to the agent is common to describe by means of successor function by using the successor function we can describe what action to be selected if so what successor state we will reach then this is the successor function okay returns a set of ordered pairs action comma successor action comma successor which this successor means successor state okay successor state neighboring state where action is legal action from the state x and successor is state in which we can we can be applying action the initial state and successor function together define what is called as state space okay here we are having five different state space which is a set of all possible states reachable from initial state to the final state okay here what are the possible states we are having in our problem a b c d e all the states will be reachable from this a only okay from a we can reach all the states so we can reach this b we can go to this d we can go to this e from c we can go to the e also okay from d also we can reach e from b also we can reach this e okay so this is called as formulating problem that is successor function next one is next one is goal test right goal test decide whether the current state is goal state or not so this is called as goal test goal test so for any problem we should know which is goal knowledge about the goal knowledge about the goal so we should know the knowledge about goal previously then only we can test whether the successor node is goal node or not okay so for every state 
we need to test whether the current state is E or not. Okay, so we should know the state E is the gold state. And next one is path cast. That is, path cast is nothing but a numeric value to each path. Okay, the formula for this is cast of A is current state, cast and B is the successor state. Okay, so A is the current state and B is the successor state in between what is the cast. Each step we can take is solving. The problem should be somehow weighted. Okay, all the edge should have its own weight. Okay, when we apply this particular action, we need to pay this much cast, right, to reach the next state. So, if I travel from A to E, our agent will pass many cities and the cost to travel between two consecutive cities should have some cost measure. Example, suppose I am going to travel from city A to city B, the cost is 20 km. Or we can return this as in this form. Okay, C, C means cost. Cost of A to B is 20 the solution to a problem is path from initial state to goal state. What is the path from initial state to goal state? And this is important. Okay. The solution quality. The solution quality is measured by path cast. And the optimal solution is the lowest path cast among all possible solutions. So, it, the optimal solution should have minimum path cast. Minimum path cast among all the possible solutions. Right? Up to this, we have seen the problem formulation that is introduction about this problem formulation. In this introduction class, we have seen the definition goal based agent and problem solving agent, goal formula sorry, goal formulation and problem formulation, and formulating problems under this we have seen. The four important components that is initial state, successor function, goal test and path cast. And in the next class we are going to see the example problems. Okay. So in the example problem we are going to see the vacuum mold problem, 8 puzzle problem, 8 queen problem and the most popular machineries and cannibals problem. Right. So if you have any doubt you just text me and give your comment also. Thank you.